Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Labs and today we're going to be showing you some basic weldings with the MIG Weld 140. It runs on a 110 current. You have the choice of either flux core wire or gas, CO2. And then what we're going to be doing today is a, what they call a butt weld and two pieces like that, then a T weld or a fillet weld or a lap weld. This little machine is hot enough for you. It's the quarter inch mild steel. It was about the extreme. I wouldn't go very much thicker than that. We'd have to go up more amperage. Okay, what we're going to do is the three kind of uh, basic welds. We're going to do the lap weld, the T weld, and the butt weld. We're going to be using an eighth of an inch thick mild steel metal. Okay, we're going to use a flux core, which means that you don't have to use the gas, which is the CO2 argon mixture. And uh, we going to use the 110 volts and the 035 wire. Now that's good about what the flux core is for if you're at home you don't have to get the gas. You can work on your car for your hobbies or whatever and there's no gas needed. But if you do want to go for the gas you want to go for the 25 percent argon and the 75 percent carbon dioxide. And so I've got the material cut up and I'll get my hood and uh, we'll weld up those joints and then after that I'll cut it up and drill holes and make my brackets for the next next show. Okay this is the Longevity MIG weld 140 runs on a 110 current it'll run with a flux core wire or a solid wire. Now flux core you don't need the gas but with the solid wire you need the CO2 argon mixture. Very simple you have your arc volts and you have your wire speed. You have your, your MIG gun and your ground and then your power obviously. Those are the only three cables you have to really worry about. Other than other cables that are hanging over your head. Okay, we're gonna put the spool, the spool is already in. So what we're gonna do, thread it in and let it run through the wire until it comes out of the gun just like that. You want to keep a little length on that wire outside the gun. Then we'll take our tip, put our tip on, tighten this up, finger tight it first, take our pliers, a little tight, not too much. We'll take our cup and we'll put our cup on. Now when you have a flux core, you don't really need to use the cup, but it's for safety, it's, it's better because you're not touching your material and you're not arcing out. So that's set up, then we'll go ahead and we'll run a couple beads here. Okay, this is gonna, the lap weld. Now what I'm gonna do first is just go ahead and tack it in two spots to keep it down. With the lap weld, you want to make sure not to go up above that top edge and you'll scallop it. The bead will go over that edge. Adjust your heat just enough and your speed just enough to where it just fills up to that edge. Nice and clean. Otherwise you get that ridge looking thing and then you got to grind it. It'll still be welded but it's not what you want. You'll be scalloping the top of the edge. Then we've got our T-welds, just like that. Do the same thing, we'll tack it first. What I wanna do is I start at the end and get the puddle going and then oscillate it so it's filling in the groove and just slowly fill it whipping it or oscillating it take your time now you can push or drag either way whatever you're comfortable with myself I prefer to to push it but I'm dragging it here 
Just watch it fill in. Put a little whip to it. Take your time, and that's it. Then, we take our butt welds with the beveled side. Now this, you want to clamp it down. Just to hold it down just a little bit. Just like that. And like that. Now you go like this. There we go. That just keeps it from bending up. And tack it. Okay. Okay, what I'm doing, same thing, watch for undercut, let it fill in, do a half circle or a whip, take your time, but keep in mind, watch out for the undercut. You want that to fill in really good. Go nice and slow okay. with the whip. So now I got my T weld, I got my butt weld, and I got my lap weld. And it didn't turn out too bad. I think it looks all right. I didn't get any undercut on my fillet weld or my T weld. I didn't get a lot of burn over that lap on the lap edge. They call that scalloping. And then on my butt weld, that's fairly uniform. Sometimes with a butt weld, and you don't have a bevel on there. Sometimes you can lose your spot. Then you get a crazy weld going off to the side or something like that. But that didn't turn out too bad. And I've already wire brushed this and let it cool down. That's why it looks a little cleaner because when you use a flux core it's going to be a little bit more dirty. You'll see the flux and all that kind of stuff so it's better to take a wire brush to it and just take all the slag off obviously. And uh, there you go. You got your fillet weld or your T weld, your butt weld, and your lap weld. Thanks for joining me at Longevity Learning Lab. I'm Rob and we'll see you next time.